Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm teaching people on metal shaping and I'm back here with tips and tricks but this time we're using the second generation bead roller with the third axle and what I'm going to do here now I'm going to use this so we can make a, a circle on like the same dies that we're using for the flames but we're going to use, make it to 100% circle so I drilled a hole and I tied that up there so let's see what's going to happen here. We're going to get the result. So I have the dies offset. So it, it feeds itself. So, so far so good. <laughs> so here I could make a hundred percent circle. So, but of course, the, the deeper down I go down with the dice, the more distortion we get on the panel. And I wasn't sure that what, what it's going to be like, but you, you can feel little oil can, little here and little there. So it, it is, things happen. And I thought that maybe when we have the hole here for the, the bolt, maybe it will not be so much distortion. But if I go further down, it's going to, be more distortion. So let's adjust this one now so I can see what because I don't, I want to, I don't want to go in there to destroy that. So like that. So let's make this one make this one the opposite now. So this will comes up. So I think it worked out pretty good. So there we have one that goes down and this one comes up. So let me do one more thing to this one now before we are done. So I'm going to remove the... the third axle. So I'm going to do Move this out a little bit. Like that. And then I can stand on this side, that's fine. So there is a V8 emblem. So that was the trick for the day to do with the second generation bead, bead roller and the third axle. So we can make complete round circles. If you want more information about the classes or the, the equipment or books and videos, go to www.lazymetalshaping.com. Thank you.